All right, after spending the last three weeks watching YouTube videos, trying my best to get my audio-visual skills up to date, I've noticed I no longer want to commit the YouTube cardinal sin of greetings. So from here on, I, Rob Moyer, vow never to address the audience of these videos as what's up guys or what is up guys. I maybe watched a hundred videos on YouTube now and one of these variations is like in 80% of these things. Okay, rant over. So it's been two weeks since I have made uh, a pod cert. I thought giving two weeks in between the live stream concerts on Fridays would give a bit more time and energy to kind of put something a bit more special together. Aside from the usual musician stuff, I've actually been doing a, uh, a thing called Zwift. It is virtual cycling, I guess like an e-sport. It's pretty cool. You can hook up your own bicycle to what's called a smart trainer. It communicates with the game and you cycle these different routes that last 10 minutes or I suppose hours and hours. And if you're going up a hill, the smart trainer actually makes it feel harder to cycle like you're really going up a hill. I started doing this in late December. Uh, but with the U.S. tour, I missed it for about five weeks, came home back to Toronto for three days, and then went on the European tour, which is the one I had to abandon after 10 days. One of the nice things about being home is to be able to pick that up again. So for anyone who potentially uses Swift and you're curious, I figured out my stats over the last two weeks. Over different sessions, I've cycled 105 kilometers and uh, cycled an elevation of 908 meters collectively so i don't know if that's good or bad or whatever but it's something if you use it give me a ride on thumbs up my screen name is robbie meyer which is actually my german hipster schlager artist name that i have for my imaginary alter ego and another fun aspect of having to stay home is i've been able to cook a lot more um made some dishes over the last two weeks such as stir fries and uh, I made a fish pie. Started off with a roux, mixing some salmon, cod, carrot, celery, and about 45 minutes later in the oven, I think it turned out very, very nice. So today I wanted to play a song off my second album, Adventure Handbook. The track is called Ports of Call. And uh, it was actually the main single from the album and one that still sits in my life sets most nights. Before I play the song, I thought I would tell you a little bit about uh, an official video shoot we did for the song to promote the album. We worked with local Toronto director named Casey Armstrong. Casey and I go way back. He's worked as a professional photographer for many years and until recently he's been more seduced by the world of motion picture. I remember back when we were talking about creating this we really set out to do something simple like a a performance piece with just the four of us and the Toronto band Great Lates. Shout out to Mike, Carly, and Ollie, obviously. We thought about having it as a clean white background, uh, just the four of us. And uh, originally I, I suggested maybe we could have these like two red canoes in the front as just some, some I don't know what you would call that. <laughs> Casey later talked me out of it, so if you like it, just straightforward, four people playing music, you can thank him for that. Originally, as you can see, we actually shot the video in color. All just imagined it was going to be in color uh, until we got to post-production, and um, through a bunch of different reasonings, it actually turned out better to have it in black and white, which... I think kind of gave it an element of classiness to it, um, which you now see before you today. So I'm going to play you the version of the song that I've been doing as uh, on my solo tours for the past, I suppose, um, yeah, about five years now. This is the, kind of the version I've been playing it, and, uh, and it goes like this. Where will I go? Where will I believe it? I'm a blank canvas so you can see. 
Thank you so much for watching.